Texas' strict new abortion law took effect Wednesday. Now not only must women who want an abortion have the procedure performed within the first six weeks of pregnancy, but they must also schedule two in-person visits with an abortion provider spaced 24 hours apart before they can proceed. Exceptions for rape, incest, and human trafficking are allowed, but women must provide documentation, such as a police report or a restraining order. However, activists and supporters of abortion rights argue that six weeks into a pregnancy is too short of a time frame, as many women may not yet be aware that they're pregnant. It's what we heard from many young women we spoke to, some even expressing surprise at the changes. It's just not enough time. A lot of women don't find out they're pregnant until two months in, one month, so six weeks is nothing. It's just not enough time to make an action. I honestly had no idea that that was even being taken into place. You literally just informed me right now, and I feel like it's our rights, it's our body, whatever we choose to do, especially like some women like are pregnant like against their means, you know what I mean, against their will, and I feel like that's ridiculous. Like, or like, even if like you do want to have a baby, like, I feel like six weeks isn't enough because it's like you still have to take into account, like, financial wise, is the father going to be there? Like, do you think like you're ready for a child? Like, I just don't, I don't think it's right. Hear ye, the Supreme Court of Florida is now in session. The Florida Supreme Court cleared the way last month for the abortion ban to take effect, but at the same time, it also sanctioned a pathway for legalized abortions until viability to possibly return to the state through a ballot question voters can answer in November. Candace Dye, owner of the only abortion clinic in nearly five counties in Florida, reported that the clinic has been exceptionally busy in the past few days. She expressed the same concerns about the lack of awareness among women in Florida regarding the new restrictions. We told patients over and over again yesterday, or potential patients yesterday, they had no idea. So then they scrambled, well, can you get me in this weekend? Can you get me in this weekend? Can you get me in this weekend? So i accommodated as many people as we can. Like you can see, we're a small clinic, small waiting area, and we're doing the best we can this weekend. But uh, it's scary for the rest of the girls that can't get in. Anti-abortion protesters have been gathering outside this clinic and numerous others across the state, attempting to dissuade the women who come for abortions. I'm here because abortion has hurt me, and I certainly don't want to see other women hurt by abortion. They walk in the door and they never come out the same. What if you're wrong? Anti-abortion activists are notoriously vocal, frequently appearing at abortion rights rallies to express their counter views. The final decision on abortion access in Florida will likely rest with voters in November. The ballot measure to legalize abortion through about 24 weeks must receive at least 60% of voter support to pass. While polls show a majority of Florida residents do back greater abortion rights, the surveys show that support currently falls just shy of that required threshold. Lisa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.